I have never really gone through uh, my life before code, so I figured I'd maybe walk you through it. Um, if you've known me or anyone knows me, uh, my first love was music. And I think that's a familiar thing with designers, developers, maybe anyone in the creative game. Most of the people, at least in my frame of life, have <laughs> had dabbled in music before. Um, so I'm a guitarist by trade. My, my original agenda before going to college, anything was to be a touring musician in a rock band. Um, it's big, big dreams, big goals. And actually got to where I was touring in a, in a band for a little bit. Um, it didn't pan out as most don't. So it was, it was one of those things where I learned a ton, had a hell of fun time. Um, but it was so fast paced, just a, a, a lifestyle that I couldn't really maintain because I wasn't making shit for money. So it was just one of those things where it was a dream. I, you know, we, out of high school, a group of uh, friends and I formed a band. We, we, that was our pastime. Like I didn't really just hang out with friends. It was mostly just jamming in the basement somewhere playing loud instruments. So my whole life was music up until I had kids basically not two years ago. So I had honestly played on the weekends professionally and played for money while working full time as a developer designer. So, um, until I realized the touring thing, the big band idea wasn't going to work out. I actually went to a community college locally and just proceeded to just get some basic form of, of, you know, uh, degree. I didn't have any idea that I was going to end up being more of a designer developer. So at that point I had nothing, no idea I would, you know, be interested in coding or design. And until I decided to, um, start designing like, uh, album covers, stickers, um, merch for the band did I really kind of realize I not really had a knack for it, but I just really enjoyed it. It was fun. Uh, the process of, you know, making graphics and stuff and, and seeing it come to life, being printed on things was really cool. So that transitioned into me going to school for graphic design. Um, that was just mostly just like, eh, that sounds cool. So I did it and I got my bachelor's degree for graphic design. I don't know that college was something I'd recommend, at least the, the path I went. Um, I learned a lot, but not enough. I met most of, most of the thing, I think reason for college, in my opinion, is um, so the social structs. You can meet people you never met before, um, see people. I met my wife in college, so had I not gone, we wouldn't have met. So that's a good thing that came out of it, I suppose. So all that's to say, in college, I wasn't taught code. Um, I actually taught myself code. There was actually a technical course that I could have took uh, to get that degree, but they were teaching at the time like Flash and stuff that I already knew was going out of style. Um, I didn't really know like all the technical constraints of, of Flash and whatnot, but it was one of those things where I could almost see it coming, even though I didn't know how to put my you know pen on it and, and really realize. So I taught myself the basics of building websites with HTML and CSS at the beginning um, while in design school. So I was getting both things at the same time, but I was a novice. I wasn't great at it. And until I just like continuously built stuff uh, repeatedly, uh, deconstructed other websites, all those things, um, finally got into WordPress, which was, you know, like a, a new awakening to me. The fact that you could save data on a database and pipe it back out, you know, take form submissions and, and whatnot, uh, was wild and super cool to me. So, um, I got my teeth wet in WordPress and kind of just started freelancing from there while working at school and things just trickled from there. So WordPress was a big deal for a long time for me. We, I actually started a little agency with my wife. Um, we don't really do much now cause we, I'm working full time. I have the kids and, uh, that's pretty much all the time I have and do some consulting on the side. So um, from that, basically I'm going to have learned to want to build stuff on the side because the idea of, of working full time for someone the rest of my life is kind of not ideal. I'd always wanted to be entrepreneur, having had my own little agency for a moment and, and whatnot. And I wanted to kind of keep that, keep that feeling going, that freedom. Um, 
there's nothing to say that a getting a job is a bad thing. I have one now. I love it. The team I work for is awesome and everything's great, but it's just one of those things where you have this aspiration of being your own boss, um, building a product perhaps in my mind. Now I, I want to build software is where I'm at. I'm like a SaaS based business and that's kind of where I'm at. So I've learned Ruby on rails to as much as I could. Um, that's kind of the framework I chose about three years ago. I kind of kicked off this web crunch thing and just took it from there. And a lot of people have identified as being similar, like a similar path and wanted to do more of the Ruby on rails stuff and, and just kind of, um, learn from me. And as I was learning, I taught, and I just did a, a recent video of, of why I think teaching was the best way to learn. And that's definitely true in this case for me. So, um, from there, basically I'm where I'm at today. So I'm a product designer by trade, a senior product designer, but I have coding chops so I can code, uh, build web apps on the side, um, little tinkering apps for fun. Some stuff makes money. Some doesn't, some of it's for just pure fun, pure joy. Um, but it's become a hobby. I, I never thought coding and, and my weekends would be spent coding more. You know, it's one of those things where I assumed I'd be, you know, musician or, or just some sort of active person on the weekends, which I, I am, I work out a lot and go to the gym and, and run and whatnot. But, um, those are more of like precursors to getting into my coding mindset. So if I can build something and see success with it, that's kind of where I'm at at this point. So that's my life before code. Um, it's basically been a, this whole path has been my plan B. Um, it's been great and I've, I've been successful with it, but my original plan was always music. So I figured I'd just fill you in on that. I, I don't talk about much personal stuff and I thought that would be neat to, to kind of pour out and see what you guys think. Be curious if you want to share your own uh, paths, stories, whatever. If you're a musician, hello, we can meet up. Um, I still have my arsenal of guitars and amps and everything sitting around. So um, I still love to talk gear and play. It's not like I'm quitting, but it's just less of a focus because of kids and pandemics and stuff like that. So uh, I think that's it for now. And hopefully you enjoyed this. Let me know if you have thoughts for other like stuff you want me to, to say and um, I'll come back with more. All right, peace.